Hi, this is Shalaka Singhal, Design Engineer for Cadence Memory IP. Hello, this is Jitendra, Systems Engineer for Cadence Memory IP. Cadence HBM5 products have established as performance leaders for various generations of HBM in several tech nodes. For our 3 nanometer HBM5, we challenged ourselves and set aggressive design targets for PPA matrix with higher margins for field performance. In this video, we will provide a demo of the Cadence HBM 3E 3 nanometer phi solution performance, show the robustness of the phi through TX eye diagrams on the scope, and then 1D timing margin and 2D software eye capture for memory read write. Here is the board and lab setup. Here is the 3 nanometer phi test chip consisting of the phi and the HBM DRAM stack. To drive the HBM phi test chip, and run various diagnostic and performance tests, we will use LabStation software. The test chip is connected to LabStation through a USB LIM card and uses IEEE 1500 protocol to interface the HPM5. LabStation software is provided to Cadence IP licensees. For eye characteristics, we have monitors for data lines on the interposer and the eye diagram is presented here. For data read-write, we will first do the training and then do the 1D, 2D plots. Now, let us run the first standalone TX operation at 10.4 Gbps and measure the TX eye characteristics. As you can see here, it's a very robust eye with 110 millivolt eye height and width of 70 picoseconds. Let's also bring the phi RX into the picture here by initializing the phi in loopback mode. Loopback operation being error free can be observed as verified using error checkers on every single pin. Of course, as engineers, we want to see how much further we can push the TX performance. So let's crank it up and see how the phi performs at higher speeds, let's say 14 Gbps. As you can see, the I is still very robust at 14 Gb. What does this higher performance mean to you? It's higher margins for your production parts and higher yields. Phi loopback and standalone mode tests are necessary, but the real test is with memory reads and writes. From the lab session software, we kick off the training algorithm. And once the training is complete, we get to look at the 1D I margins and also the 2D I captures on the lab station. Phi read write performance can be demonstrated at higher speeds. But on the test chip, the limitation is the available HBM DRAM speeds for test chip build. As you integrate the Cadence HBM5 into your SOC, and by the time your SOC reaches production, higher speed grade DRAMs are expected to be available. Designing in the Cadence 5 with the highest speed grade will future proof your SOC product. Cadence HBM3 nanometer 5 test chip has a robust I at 14 Gbps, wide 1D margins, and 2D I openings for your yields and field performance. If you would like to see a live demo, we are happy to show you the demo at our Cadence Labs, or we can also bring the demo to your site. Looking forward to hearing from you soon.